Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. Now this week is the first official video of Sprinkle Courage being three. Yay! Now I get asked a lot, is it just therapy that I go to or is there other things that I do, other people I see? So I thought I'd explain a little bit about what I do to help remain safe while going through my mental health. Now I have therapy every single week uh, for an hour once a week I have therapy unless I'm very ill and I can't attend it or something happens or anything like that therapy happens every single week and it's very very important that those sessions happen because if you don't have that time and space and that freedom to open up and discuss all those negative thoughts and those worrying thoughts and you bottle them all back up it becomes a problem and it can lead down a dangerous path of self-harm or suicidal thoughts so it's very important that you try and stick to that schedule and be honest as you can in those sessions to make the most of them now i don't just go to therapy i also go to my doctors a lot now that is purely sometimes it's a bit of both because i have a physical condition that's quite serious my doctor needs to keep an eye on me for that but i also go for my mental health as well because technically i am classed as a suicidal risk because once you have tried to commit suicide you're sort of you're at a risk and people like to keep a close eye on you and monitor you a lot more closely and just make sure that those thoughts are as far away and if you're a self-harm struggler and those thoughts are coming up then make sure that if you have done anything they're not getting infected or anything so I am at the doctors every few weeks where that appointment is sort of split into my physical illness and my mental illness so we spend a good time in that appointment discussing both my physical illness does impact my mental illness because obviously it's quite demanding and it takes a lot and when you're in a lot of pain and it's playing up it can really really affect you mentally so the doctor likes to keep an eye on both just to make sure that I'm handling it physically and mentally. My mum has lived with me throughout this mental health journey from when it started to when she found out about it till now. She knows what the signs are, what the symptoms are, she knows what I'm the warning signs are and what to look for when something really bad is happening and even though I'm very bad at sort of coming out and talking to my feelings to my mum and family because it is very very hard my mum and my family are very good at sort of noticing that when I'm spending a lot of time alone I don't want to engage in conversation I'm hiding away or my mum just knows because she's lived with it now for so long she knows the signs and she's very good at trying to snap me out of that dark path whether it's by making me laugh taking me to do something or making me go to therapy or you know just doing something to help break it out my family my doctor and my therapist they are like my support system but the main thing that has to deal with it is me i'm the one that has to live with it every day i'm the one that has to drag myself out of bed every single day when all i want to do is cry and hide away and some days the depression the anxiety the self-harm win and those days are some of the worst times you can experience other days getting out of bed doesn't seem like such a horrible task and you could feel you can breathe a little bit easier on those days but the main thing that i do is i have to keep fighting i don't give up because the minute i give up i've lost and I might as well have given in to that suicide attempt all those years ago. I didn't stop myself from ending my own life to give up a few years on. I stopped myself because I wasn't willing to end it. I felt something and I believed that I could carry on and live. And that's what keeps me going is the knowledge that I can do this. And yes, every day is bloody tough and it's a marathon that never seems to end and you're very tired and some days you just 
you don't want to exist you really don't want to exist and some days you regret not going through with the attempt but at the end of the day you get back up off the floor you dust yourself off and you carry on and that is the main thing yes I have the support from my therapists my doctor my family but the main thing that I have to do is I have to keep going and I cannot give up so thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next week bye guys